Thank you. Ministers, uh, Commissioner, uh, President and panellists, and ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute honour to be here today. Um, I'd also like to thank the Department of Merchant Shipping for also inviting me here today as well. So, as the President said, my name is George Ward and I am Project Support Manager of Exis Limited. Exis Limited provides services from 40 STCW Plus courses, next generation maritime simulation, um, and also SMS procedures, equipment reference, reference cards, and we're also responsible for the training of around 1,000 inspectors in digital navigation worldwide. So you may be asking, what do I do, and maybe why I'm here today? Well, as project support, I involve myself in all parts of the company, but all this is predominantly to do with new technologies and observing the world of digitalization before me within the industry and outside of it and then use this information to educate our crews and shipping companies worldwide. I also involve myself in the world of cybersecurity within the company, actually creating one of the first cybersecurity awareness courses for seafarers to expand the knowledge further in the industry and allow crews to understand the potential of threats and, of course, has the huge link of digitalization. But I'll leave cybersecurity over to society. Now, digitalization is a very broad term, but simply speaking, it's the changing of analog methods of data and shipping and replacing it with the digital information and brand new technologies that enhance the efficiency and control of your companies. The fundamentals to digitalization is to embrace the concept of paperless processes as the most efficient, productive, transparent, and economical method of running a business. The maritime is certainly traditional. It's thousands of years old. And that has meant that sometimes it's slow to transition to new technologies. Certainly, if you compare it to the upstart industry, aviation, but we've got to ask, why is this? <coughs> well, again, it starts with the result of our transition regarding digitalization. And in some senses, we may be way behind. Of course, we've all met that captain who is nervous about the machines on his ships. That brings me back to the traditions of sailing again. We are all comfortable using the tried and tested methods and procedures that keep us safe at sea. But now maybe it's time to take that leap forward and embrace digitalization. In the past, digitalization strategies have been slow to take off due to the number of factors. These include the complexity and difficulty of managing and synchronizing digital and printed communications, a lack of leadership by managers, <coughs> concerns about costs, and a fear of change. But today, even small businesses realize that there is no longer an excuse uh, to delay the transition to digitalization. There are many reasons why digitalization is at the top of the corporate agenda in the public and private sector organizations, and especially in the maritime industry. Key reasons include productivity, cost saving, customer choice, compliance, and, of course, competitive pressure. There's a phrase that's becoming more common, and that phrase is big data. But what does it mean, and what relevance does it have to digitalization? <laughs> well, because technologies are evolving so fast, and we are creating more and more information that we can't handle without rapid technology, technolo technological advances, more data has been created in the past two years than the entire previous history of the human race. By the year 2020, about 1.2 megabytes of new information will be created every second for every human being on the planet. And within five years, there will be over 50 billion smart connected devices in the world, all developed to collect, analyze, and share data. If we didn't digitalize this data, eventually most of it would either be lost, destroyed, and even half of it wouldn't even be able to be uh, gathered. Now, of course, technology is critical for society, and even more critical for the maritime industry. As we all may be aware, technology is going to be the thing that provides us with the future for our industry and provide us with the opportunity to make the world a better and more efficient place. Whether it be fuel and solar cell propulsion, removing the water ballast system, automating VTS, providing next generation navigation, such as the use of heads-up display, or even using autonomous ships. But this all is linked to one thing, and that's security. So this means security is therefore as critical for these technologies as these technologies are for our industry. I'd like you all just to keep that in mind. Now, I think we finally maybe all be getting there. 
Most corporate businesses within the industry have started to invest in sophisticated technology so we can perform more complex tasks and easier uh, and make those tasks more efficient. For instance, artificial inte intelligence, also known as AI, which is the, de the development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, and decision making. Now this technology could significantly help the industry and will be the key to making autonomous shipping work. But however close you think we are to autonomous shipping, it will still be a while before it's stable enough to use in the world of today. Now we may think that digital technologies like this have huge benefits and that they will, but they also have consequences. Employees may become skeptical where they were once uh, enthusiastic, frustrated and stressed instead of inspired and happy. Retention of top talent could also then become difficult. There is no need to go from one extreme to the other when we consider implementing AI. Autonomous ships are coming, and there's no doubt about that, but I would caution about the rushing into this kind of technology. Now, I may sound like I'm giving mixed messages because I started this talk talking about the maritime industry, how it was very slow at its transition into new technologies and how poorly it was at getting new technologies into the industry. But this technology is one we need to get right first. Imagine the potential consequences of an autonomous oil tanker being hacked. What would I like to see in the maritime industry? Is it embracing new technologies to help the day-to-day -day running of our shipping companies and making ourselves more efficient in what we do, while also keeping employees happy to help us learn how such technologies can be used to help implement autonomous shipping without making the mistakes first. We need to make sure that company principles factor in employee engagement alongside new business tools such as artificial intelligence and big data as they're all so important and it's not just about new technologies. Employee satisfaction should rate just as highly in your long-term goals and strategies as anything else. Digitalization is the key and it is the answer. Let's just make sure we do it right first. Thank you. Thank you, George. Thank you, George, for keeping uh, the time limit and being uh, very mm. precise on what you mean, although the, 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 the general issue is very, it's very vague and very complicated. Please allow me to ask you a couple of questions yeah. to make a little mm -hmm. more clear what, what you, what you, the meaning of what you, you, you mentioned before. Uh, do we need to make special preparation for the digitalization on board the ship? What, what we can do, the managers, the operators, the owners, what, what they can do in order to be efficient on, on the, the digitalization? What practical means they, they have in their disposal and how they can utilize them? Okay. Yes, of course, preparation is key. Um, preparation is one of those things that maybe all industries aren't very good at doing. We need to make sure that all of our seafarers, all of our managers, um, all of our CEOs, etc., across the board have an understanding of uh, these future technologies and how we can implement them. Everyone needs to know how they work, in what way they work, and additional training is usually something that isn't seen enough, I feel, in this industry. Um, especially ever since uh, things like the oil prices collapsing, um, and uh, shipping has kind of slowed down and there's not so, money, so much money in the industry, I have seen a huge collapse or a huge uh, degrade in the level of training that has kind of been implemented in new technologies. Um, there are many new technologies, there are many new updates that come out every single day. Um, for instance, digital navigation. There are so many types of di digital navigation. There's 38 different types of manufacturers of Ectis, for instance. Um, and there's barely a requirement to have type specific training nowadays. So again, training, I think, into these new technologies when they advance, such as heads up displays, etc., will need to be a key. And the last question, although you, you touched on that uh, issue a little, uh, I would like to expand on the future of digi digitalization and its relationship to mining in the future because it's the human element, in my opinion, is very important for our industry, yeah. and how it's going to be, uh, let's say, placed or transformed within the industry in the future. How, how you can envisage that? Well, I can envi envisage um, that the industry will not lose manning on board ships 
very soon. Uh, I mean, autonomous ships are, yes, a great future, and we really hope that they bring something new to what, what we have. Um, but regardless, I feel, at least for the next 100 years, I think that manning on ships will be very important. So we don't have to get rid of our crews completely. Whether it be on bridges, that's not necessarily uh, the question here. Um, I think we will have crews uh, for many years to come. But when it gets to um, more dense shipping, such as um, ferries, um, etc., I think that manning of ships will always be there. It provides um, customers and consumers with uh, the, the safety um, that they feel that there are people in control of the vessel and there is no one there. Um, and I see, eventually, autonomous shipping working. It will take its time, um, and these de technologies will take so much time for us to learn how they work, the mistakes, there will be some, and how they work. But the human element of it is that we need employees to make sure that we keep the day-to-day -day running of our companies going well. And we don't need to fully take them away from the industry when we come to the autonomous and artificial intelligence world. Thank you, George. I have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have the feeling that we have a very nice distribution of, a, a very nice distribution of the tasks here, because we 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 heard we heard about uh, the future from a very young, uh, for a visionary person, and now on a current problem, of, on a big problem, let's go to the very experienced uh, hands of Ms. Hudson to, to hear about uh, cybersecurity. <laughs>